Hey, what's up? This is Seb from the Flatsum team. And today we launched Flatsum 3.13 update. Uh, we even have the Cyber Sale, Black Friday, so get that discount. Um, but I'm very excited to explain or show you how the Mega Menu works. As you can see, you now can control or create your drop down menu and you know customize it with the UX Builder. So I'm really excited. And we now also have the menu element. It's a brand new element available in the UX Builder. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. Uh, we also have some pre-made layouts available in the Flatsum Studio. So uh, you don't need to create it from scratch. And I created my uh, old fashioned presentation so I can mark them one by one and explain you the best as I can. So first of all, how to create your menu with the UX Builder. Well, you need to be uh, updated to the Flatsum 3.13 to make this work. And you don't need any kind of plugin, so that's really cool. And first of all, let's create our UX block. So first we go to WordPress, make sure you're logged in. This is be just basic stuff. And now here on the left, you can go to UX blocks, add new. And let's now for a presentation, let's call this custom dropdown. Here we go. Let's publish. And then what we need to do is we need to open up our UX builder. So uh, let's do that right away. And like I said, you can create it from scratch, but I uh, like to speed it up now and go open up the Flatsum Studio and use one of our pre-made layouts. I think this one looks really nice. It's just uh, basic list items with two banner blocks on the right. So let's import that. Also take the images now. And here we go. And now you can have a first view of the new menu element. You can now have links. You can add icons to it. You can even label it. So let's say it's in a sale. You can even put more. You can link it to posts, to categories. Well, there's a lot of um, possible uh, with the menu link uh, settings. And it, you need to be aware that it's uh, containing the, well, let me explain you. Uh, first of all, you need to add the menu element. I'm gonna explain you anyway. And then you can see that the same as an accordion item, there are menu links inside the menu element. It's also nice to know that you can um, de uh, or hide the divider. So meaning you don't have those borders here between the menu links. And there will probably more settings in the future, but for now it really works. Um, like I said, you can connect a link to a, a specific post or a specific uh, category. And if you want to, for example, link it to a, a specific product, you can insert the URL manually. So this is really nice. Um, so I think for now we just keep it as it is, leave it as it is, we update and we close it down and we are gonna assign this specific menu to our uh, uh, menu item. So I'm gonna make sure that we are gonna link it to, so this is our website, our demo website. And I'm gonna link the specific dropdown uh, on this shop item link. So I go to WordPress again, appearance, menus, and then here at shop, you can just click on the arrow on the right, open it up, and then you can, first of all, you can set the design to full width container or a custom size. The default was always the one that we had before. Uh, let's say now for uh, this specific design, we're gonna go forward with full width. And then we're gonna select that specific UX block, custom dropdown, and then you can say, does it need to be revealed on a hover or on a click? So do you need to click to open it up or just to need to hover it? So I'm going for a hover. And then once ready, I'm gonna save the menu. And when I refresh this page, as you can see, it's now working. Sometimes I like to go over it and then add it with UX Builder. And then you can edit that specific menu uh, in a whole website presentation view. So now you can even change it along the way and still having having a look of the header and the rest of your page. So I think this covers it a little bit. Um, you can also, like I said, play around with the settings. You can say it needs to be revealed on a click or a hover. You can even set it to container width. Let me show you the difference. So instead of having it, uh, Having it full width, it will be in, uh, placed in a container, as you can see. And then you probably need to tweak the design a little bit. 
but um, it really works. So one of the other things, let me see how far I am. So create the menu with the UX builder. We import it from the pre-made menu layouts from the Flatsome Studio. Um, we use the new UX builder element, the menu thing. We already did that. And then we also assign the UX block to our menu dropdown. So we really uh, went pretty forward. And then the different settings in the Flatsome menu item options. So this is a good thing. Well, no, it's not the one I'm... So the last thing that I wanted to show you is the extra dropdown style options. I already played it uh, with it. So I'm just going to show you header dropdown style. So what I did is I unchecked the add border, I unchecked the add shadow, and also the arrow I unchecked. So this way um, you don't have that border. If you don't want to have that shadow, just uncheck it as well. So I think it works the best with working with this custom UX uh, mega menus to uncheck the add border and the add shadow. Also, you can decide to add or hide the arrow, and then you're pretty much done. Um, those were the settings that I wanted to show you. And yeah, and then the add full overlay, it's really nice. I'm just gonna put this one back to the, to the full width, because I think that works really nice. As you can see, this works really well. And one of the cool features is that you can now add an overlay, so a full overlay on your website with hovering on the header main or the top bar or header bottom. So let's now say, okay, header main, scrolling a little bit down, you can add overlay on hover. So just gonna show you how this works, refreshing the page. And when you go hover it, you can even see a slight overlay putting, it's maybe difficult to see, but behind the menu on top of your website, there's even placed an overlay and it works really nice. Um, I think that covers it for now. We're done. So yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, again, we're creating uh, more and more creations along the way uh, for pre-made layouts for the uh, dropdown. Um, let me show show me or show us <laughs> what kind of creations you are creating with the with the new drop down functionality. Pretty excited! I already used it for some websites, and uh, it just gives that extra custom feeling to your website. So, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.